That's right. Your car can listen to you. The solution, remove any GPS devices embedded in your vehicle. Even then, there's still something on your car that can rat you out. And it's surprisingly low tech. You're going to have to make sure that you get a vehicle with clean tires. Now, I'm not talking about dirt. I'm talking about the type of tire that does not have an RFID chip embedded inside. Now, you have a number of manufacturers that are placing them there. And what this does is it converts this tire into a literal rolling tracking device. Each tire contains a unique ID that, if scanned, reveals your vehicle identification number and point of purchase. Future tires may have even more powerful chips that could transmit your actual location in real time. You must get a vehicle without RFID chips embedded in the tires. So your car is clean, but you're still vulnerable to being tracked, traced, and monitored during your journey. Sometimes it's the simplest of things that can give you away. You've been on the go for several hours and you gotta eat. If you frequented certain restaurants, you're gonna avoid them at all costs. It's not just where you eat, but what you eat. Because Big Brother even knows your dietary habits. How? Remember when you booked an airline ticket five years ago? When you did, you filled out your food preferences without a second thought. If I were trying to get information on you, I'd call the airline's customer service, pretend I was you, and have them check your preferences. For example, if I see that you're vegetarian, I'll just scope out places that serve vegetarian food. So from now on, you're a red-blooded carnivore. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, table for one, please. For one? Yeah. This one? Okay, that's good. This is your basic sit-down coffee shop. Looks like a non-chain restaurant, and you've never eaten here. Here we go. Thank you. You've kept your hat and sunglasses on to protect you from surveillance cameras. That should be okay, right? Not quite. You've left behind a calling card, your fingerprints. An easy target for anyone with a BPAC. A BPAC is a portable unit that instantaneously analyzes biological metrics to authenticate someone's identity. It can measure all sorts of characteristics, from eye blood vessel patterns to voice recognition. This information is entered into a national database that includes the fingerprints of more than 7 million Americans, including all federal employees and those in high-level security jobs. Now here's the worrisome part. Anyone can buy a BPAC. If your fingerprints are in the database and someone hacks into that system with a BPAC, it will be game, set, match. So, how do you eat without a trace? A better alternative is to buy everything in disposable containers. The key word, disposable. The spicy Texas chili glaze. And instead of that table for one, uh, that'll be it for me. You're gonna take your spicy beef chili to go. You're about to spend your first night out on the road. You're not completely dropping off of the grid. You're basically living on the fringes of it. And you gotta maintain some sort of comfort as you get yourself prepared for your new life. So on your first night out, you are going to spend it inside a motel. How you doing? I need to rent a room. Would you be paying cash or credit? Cash. Remember, you're no ordinary motel guest. You'll want to cover your tracks by limiting your trail of DNA. Gloves are too suspicious. You'll want to use them sparingly. Regular old alcohol wipes, they'll do just fine. You're never going to want to enter any room or space that you're going to be in for an extended period of time without one of these. It's a wireless bug detector. And you can use this to scan through your room if there are any electronic devices or bugs are planted inside. This can even check for cameras. Them usually embedded in places that have a wide field of view of your room, like a picture frame. Devices like this one are also called electromagnetic frequency detectors. EMF detectors will find any gadgets emitting radio waves within a wide range of frequencies, which includes cell and cordless phones, hidden cameras, even baby monitors. In 2008, 
ESPN reporter Erin Andrews was videotaped without her consent through the peephole in her hotel room. It's probable that an EMF device would have detected her perpetrator. This type of spy tech can pick up a wide range of wireless devices, so be prepared for a lot of false alarms. With all this attention given to erasing your digital footprint, it's important not to forget about your physical imprint as well. Bed sheets are DNA sponges, and that's why you're going to leave this bed made up tonight, and you're going to use your sleeping bag and sleep on the floor. In addition to dead skin cells, hair follicles are one of the more common sources of DNA. The average person loses 100 hairs per day, and one strand on your pillow can be the difference between preserving your privacy and losing it. Okay, so you've made it through your first day of disappearing, moving and constantly trying to stay one step ahead. You're gonna need some rest to stay sharp, but uh, don't get too cozy. Big Brother never sleeps. You'll need to remain on top of your game if you want to stay under the radar. It's been just over 24 hours since you left home. Your mission? To prove that it's possible to hold on to your anonymity in the 21st century. You've managed to evade Big Brother so far. Staying under the radar means living by your wits. You'll need to remain hyper-aware as you move through your various stages. At some point, you'll need a cell phone again. All right. Okay. For emergencies or simple calls to motels and businesses. You can get disposable prepaid phones that come with defined minutes. Only you know the number, and you'll use it strictly for outgoing calls. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. It seems that you'd be safe with a prepaid phone. You know that no one has hacked into it. And you'll be keeping it at your side at all times. You'll also be disposing of it every few weeks and replacing it with a new one. Now, that seems to be safe right not so fast there's still another way your conversations can be tracked and get this your phone doesn't even have to be turned on technology exists that can turn your cell phone into an open microphone even when it's turned off allowing others to eavesdrop on all non-phone conversations as well the only foolproof way of not being detected is to take the battery out of the cell phone when it's not in use. Even then, you're not in the clear. You've heard the expression, if these walls could talk. Well, what about windows? The National Security Agency has a device that can decipher what you're saying, even if they can't hear your voice. Every time you speak, your voice creates small vibrations on your car window. A bounce laser monitoring system is able to pick up those window vibrations and convert them back into speech. Okay, great. Now, how do I get there from the freeway? Okay, now I'm going to be paying in cash. Is that okay? Uh, how many guests do you have in that hotel? I need to know if you have any rooms available. Okay, so your average law-abiding citizen won't be listened to like this. But every single one of us is watched on a daily basis. Video surveillance is everywhere, and there's a security camera for every 10 Americans. It's especially hard to spot cameras at night when strolling through parking lots or out in public. Rather than wearing sunglasses, which would draw too much suspicion, there's another way to protect your image from being captured by electronic eyes. This is a baseball cap with uh, LED lights in the front. You can build this at home. All you have to do is take a series of LED lights so that they protrude through the front of the cap. Now, I know this might look a little silly, but uh, you'd be surprised at just how well this can protect you at night. Outdoor security cameras use infrared technology to help see in low-light situations. 
the LED lights on this cap aren't visible to the naked eye, but they can be read by infrared cameras. With so many lights concentrated together, they overwhelm the camera, creating a halo effect. The resulting orb around your head makes you invisible. You've been on the road for several days. Your money won't last forever. You'll need to put down roots and get a job. But first, you're on a search for the best place in the U.S. to live a life of anonymity. This is a process of elimination. First, you're going to avoid metropolises because of their heavy surveillance. And you'll stand out too much in smaller towns. Mid-sized cities are your best bet. You narrow them down based on access to jobs, transportation, and hospitals. Avoiding places with friends and family. You also avoid cold weather climbs, which are harder to get around in. You home in on one that seems just right. Entering your adopted hometown, it's time to slip into your alter identity. Remember, your old identity leaves you vulnerable to being traced and tracked. So you're going to legally change your name. 